Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Quickview Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a Quickview learner, and in this video I will talk about the line chart. The line chart is very much similar to the bar chart where you show the information on different categories. So for example, here in this chart uh, we have these uh, air categories on which we have displayed the information on the bars. But bar chart is best suitable when you compare the information of different categories like uh, you want to compare the information of different countries then you can use the bar chart to compare the information or you want to compare the performance of different products you can use the bar chart to do the performance comparison and in the case of line chart you show the information over a period of time so for example this information is shown over a period of 10 years so from 2003 to 2012 information is presented in this bar chart but this is the best candidate to show the information in a line chart in a state of a bar chart so let's see how we can create a bar line chart from this bar chart so for that we will right click on the chart and go to properties and uh, we move to this general tab and uh, click on the line chart and we'll just go ahead and click OK to see the chart alright so this is not relevant because uh, its orientation is not good we need to take this uh, axis the ear axis on a horizontal axis so this is currently vertical axis but we need to take this on the horizontal one so for that we will right click on the chart again and go to properties and in the style tab you have the orientation so currently we have this vertical uh, sorry horizontal uh, orientation as a selection so let's move ahead with this one which is on the left side click OK and now you see our chart is now making a little bit more sense than the earlier one so we see that a trend is a linear upward trend where you know population is growing so we can click on any of the country and see their information or Aruba or any other one but you see that uh, information is not presented in a you know good fashion so nobody will be really able to read what is what are these number indicates because they are pretty much mixed up so we will see how we can uh, use a mechanism where we will uh, short down these numbers for a better representation so for that let's right click on the chart again and go to properties so we will first go into the expression tab to short down these numbers that are presented over the axis so here we have this uh, definition where we are summing this data and we will divide the number uh, by say 1 million so 3 4 5 6 all right so here we have 1 million figure and this is a quick way uh, to short down these numbers let's click on apply and see the effect all right so number is currently very small so they are you know coming as zero but let's clear to show the overall information so this is currently showing the overall sum and let's select China so their population is somewhere around 1200 million in 2003 and in 2012 it has increased up till 1300 million so in this way uh, we can represent these number in a good fashion where everybody can read or your management can read and make the decision about it, their strategies but there is a small problem that uh, nobody will be able to to understand whether you know we are showing this number as a million or a billion or what indication or a measurement this number gave so for that let's again right click on the chart 
go to properties and in the number format in the number tab we have this number format settings and here in this section you know you can specify the symbol thousand symbol million symbol and billion symbol so for that we don't have to specify a particular symbol over here but for thousand symbol we can say k for million symbol we can say m and for billion symbol we can say p click on apply and okay but here is a small situation that uh, uh, we are not getting a proper indication over here to indicate these are the million numbers so for that uh, we need to right click on properties and uh, go into expression so because of this division uh, this is making number very small and our proper indicator is not coming which is a million or a billion symbol so for that we will remove this division denominator and uh, click apply and ok alright so now you see this a proper symbol is coming which is a million symbol which indicates this is a 1500 million million mark sign this is a thousand and this is 500 but our this number is again you know messed up so we can uh, do a workaround here where uh, we can hide these numbers but make a, a symbol to indicate you know which year indicates which section so for that we need to right click go to properties and uh, under expression um, we first need to uncheck this value on data points and in this symbol you need to select any symbol to indicate the different sections in the line so let's say we select diamonds apply and ok so diamonds are not properly visible Uh, let's go and select another symbol to show it properly go to properties and uh, let's quickly select uh, squares okay yeah so square is properly coming and you can see that this indicates 2004 this indicates 2005 2006 so this is a small workaround uh, that you can do to represent your chart in a better way so let's move on and see another uh, small situation where we can better represent the chart so this zero axis which is coming uh, sorry the zero value which is coming uh, here at the chart so in each normally we do not require this zero because this is irrelevant in most in this case where you know there will not be any scenario where population is zero so for that we need to right click on the chart go to properties and in the presentation uh, I'm sorry the axis we have this uh, forced zero for this expression so if we uncheck this forced zero option this zero will not appear and our chart will look better so now you see as we remove this you know the chart is now coming in a good way now let's see uh, some other improvements that we can do in this chart so before doing that let's have a scenario uh, say for example when you show this trend over a you know 10 10 years of period uh, you obviously have some targets against which you want to measure this uh, this trend this linear upward trend so for example in China if they have the target that uh, they want to have this uh, population uh, controlled on this 1300 million mark 
so in such scenarios uh, it is better to have some target line uh, which indicates whether you know you are uh, you know moving up from the target or you are moving down from the target so for that let's right click on the properties and uh, uh, we have a presentation tab in which uh, this section reference lines is used to show the target so for that let's click on add and uh, the label uh, let's say we have a population target so we can show this label in the chart but for now I am not showing this and we can set the expression and uh, based on the expression the target will be displayed but for now we will enter a static number uh, say for example 1300 million so let's enter this th 1300 million mark in this so we have 1300 and the million and below to this you have other properties like line formatting the weight the color the style so let's click ok apply and ok so in this way we have a, a good straight line uh, as a target uh, which shows whether you you know you are going up from the target or down from the target so here the upward sense or the upward movement probably is not good so this indicates that they need to take some measures to take this upward movement at least on the line or below to the line but let's leave this uh, analysis on them and move ahead with uh, some of the properties related to the line so for example this is a normal thin line but say if we want to change its width so for that right click on the chart go to properties and click on the reference lines click edit and you can change its weight color and style so for example if you want to change the weight and make it a little bit uh, heavy on the chart click OK apply and OK so now you see this uh, the, the weight is changed and uh, it is very clearly visible and indicates the good or bad sign so the change that you just saw where I showed the bar chart is related to the experiment I was doing in the background where the intention here to show you how we can change the layout between different charts say we are showing this line chart but uh, we are also interested in you know showing the bar chart simultaneously so for that you right click on the chart go to properties and in this general tab uh, we have a fast type change section in this we can interchange the layout between different charts so for example if we check on the bar chart and enable this line chart also click apply and ok a small icon appears over here that indicates the fast change so for change the, this chart into a bar chart we can click this and you now see the bars is appearing bar chart is appearing if we again click over here it will change to line chart so this is pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video I hope uh, uh, you will find all of these options very useful when you will design your line chart so with this I'll wrap up this video and uh, thank you for watching this I will meet you in the next video with a new chart bye bye